Hi Facebook! This is Marsha Holland, Glam Mama. It is thundering here. Yes. So let me warn you right this second. When it thunders, my dogs go berserk. Yeah, so I hope they won't be too too bad, you know? But they're gonna be, I can tell you. What am I gonna do today? Hi Joy! How are you, girl? What am I gonna do today? Hi Megan, hi Brianna, hi Diane, hi everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Okie dokie, hi Julie. What am I gonna do today? I'm just gonna let you guys come on and I'll get started because I do have a tendency to have a long, long live. So you can get bored with long live sometimes, so I don't want you to be bored. So what are we going to do today? I'm going to do my phar pharmacy. Hi girls. Hi Megan. Hi Mandy. Hi Joy. Going to do my pharmacy and then I'm also going to uh, attempt my magnetic lashes again. Yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do, my face is very, very clean. You start with a clean face. And listen, if you're new here, you don't know me, I'm blind as a bat. I can't see a thing right now. I can barely see a blur. So I will be taking my my glasses on and off so I can see your comments, but if I miss your comments, it's not on purpose. I always go back and check with uh, to do the replay and I check and kind of critique and answer questions and stuff if I missed you. Uh oh. Okay. I thought I turned my notifications off. Oh, dear. Okay, this is pharmacies. Uh, let me show you. Here they go. My dogs are going to go crazy. Age Reversist Eye Cream by Dr. C. Tuna. Yeah, now I have the whole series coming, so I will do a demo on that. This is Age Fighting Anti Aging uh, Series, so you know that's what I'm going to go after. That's true. Going to go after that. When you get 72, anything that says anti aging, anything that says usually that anything that says collagen or anything like that, I am going after. Just putting a little bit of this eye cream on, and you can put it on twice a day. So use your weak finger. Uh, I think the directions say, I said this yesterday, I think the directions say to put it on after your moisturizer, but you know the moisturizer molecule, molecules are a lot larger than these molecules. So your tissue is very different here in your under your eyes so you want to put your well, I think you should put your eye cream on first and then put your moisturizer on but hey that's just me that's just me okay so that was the eye cream so now I'm going to use I don't have the age reversist uh, moisturizer but I do have this this came in my kit <clears throat> and this is an awesome product too this is calendula face cream deep hydration for sensitive and dry skin so when your skin gets more mature it gets drier so you want to make sure you are hydrating inside and out okay so I'm just going to use this calendula you know that comes from the uh, marigold family yeah did you know that nope I didn't know it so we're just going to put a little bit of that on yes here we go taking glasses off how is everybody today? Oh, that's cool. Oh, how's everybody doing? It's trying to thunder here in Texas. It was, my son lives in Tulsa, and he was saying it was really raining up there. So, don't forget your neck. And when you do your neck, go in upward motions. In fact, when you do your face, go in upward motions all together, everywhere. Up and out. Up and out, like that. Yeah. Smells nice too. Now what would you do? You would do primer, right? Primer. And I've got some of this excellent primer. It's so soft and velvety. Hi Esme. How are you? Hi Carol. Alexandra. Hello. Hello everybody. Yes Mandy, you are so right. It is so hydrating. I'm so impressed with all this stuff. I'm just about bouncing off the walls here. Hi, Valentine. Valentina, how pretty. Where are you guys from, Valentina? Hi, Lee. Trying not to miss anybody. I think it's important. Hi, Jenny. 
Carol, hello, Hannah. Hannah, that's my niece, Hannah. How are you? Wayne, what are you doing? Goth, that's my coworker. Trying to see what I'm up to, aren't you? Hi, Kelly. Brianna. I could do a storm look. Actually, I am going to do, I'm going to use the, uh, this uh, long-lasting cream that came in my kit. That's why I've got some orange on here because it's called Orange Pop. So I'm going to do that, but that is a good idea. Hi, Deborah. Rebecca, hi. Okay. Hi, Carissa. Lynn, hello. Camille, hello. Hello, everybody. All right. Eyes off. <laughs> All right. Here comes the primer. I will do the whole skincare regimen when I get it, okay? Because I didn't get everything in my kit, the whole regimen. Oh, it is a crime not to prime. So prime. I have eye primer coming. I've got some cool pencils coming. I've got lots of stuff coming. I had to start unclicking stuff. I was clicking too much. Don't forget the back of your hands. Ah. Okay. Here we go. I'm not going to use color correcting on here, I don't think. Let's do this CC cream. I love this CC cream. Color correcting is what I think that stands for. I've got a nice clean brush, so let's put some CC cream on it. And I always use too much, you know. Less is more. I have trouble with that one. Less is more. Anybody know what the smell is in here? Because I could drink it. Oh. Alright, let's get me smoothed in. With this little brush, you don't go in circular motions. You go back and forth and up and down. Because it's already doing the spinning for you. That's a whole nother commercial, isn't it? <laughs> All right. This is very, very, very good coverage. You know, CC and BB cream are just really, I thought, were like uh, tinted moisturizers, right? But this is like full coverage. I could, I could go with it. <laughs> yeah. I could go with it. Uh, breathe in the freshness. Breathe out the dodo. Uh, okay. See, I have a brown spot right here. And that's one of my little things that I can tell if we've got coverage or not. Is if it covers that little brown spot. Yeah. And you're right there. There you go. I think that's great coverage. Now, if you like a dewy look, you could stay, you could just skip the next step I'm going to do. I'm going to do some powder. I prefer a matte face. Yeah. Mm -mm. <sighs> mm -hmm. I'm going to find out what that smell is. Hi, Kayla. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Doing the laundry. It's storming here, so... I decided to do a live makeup. I don't get to do too many lives during the week uh, because I have to get up so cotton picking early. So I don't do too many lives during the week. But I do videos during the week. I don't want you guys forgetting me. So I do do videos and photos and stuff like that during the week. Yeah. And I said I would save my videos for the weekend. So this is the weekend. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hi, Iva. Myra. Hi, Cassie. Hello, everybody. Hello, John Holland. All right. Is that you, Chrissy? <laughs> I don't know. Do I need some, even need to do anything else? Let's do a little tart. I just want to see if you can see the difference. Let's do a little tart concealer. Uh, hang on. No, we can do... 
Maybelline color corrector. How about that? Let's see. Let's see if I even need it. Okay. We'll do one side and you tell me. Of course, I'll end up doing the other side. Got to be careful right in this area, though, you know. What do you think? It just kind of lightened it. I kind of still see it, but I don't know. We'll go ahead and do the other side since I did this one. go. Thank you, Miss Kayla. I love you coming. Hi, Angie. How are ya? Hi, Ashley. Hello. <laughs> How is everybody? Hi, Misty. Morning. Where are you, girl? Myra, hi. The time, Misty. Uh, it is. Okay, what time is it? I don't even know. Let me look. It is 3.15 p.m. in the afternoon. What time is it where you are? Hi, Brittany. Okay, let's get on with the show here. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of powder. I really don't have to because you see I'm not real shiny, but, you know, I could get by with that. But I don't know. I'm just an old lady and, you know... I'll have to get used to stuff, so let's just do a little bit, okay? Just a little. I want to look moisturized, but I don't really want to look, and I don't want to look cakey, that's for sure. Just a little, huh? There you go. There you go. Let me find my blush, then we'll be ready for the eyes, yay. Ready for the eyes. Okay, hang on. Hang on a minute. I have allergies. Excuse me. It's not very nice to do that on TV. Oops. Okay, let's do some blush. I'm going to use the blush that came with my kit. It's a real pretty, real pretty color. Let's see that. I'm not sure what the color is, to tell you the truth. It's called... Tender Blush On, but I don't see a, a name. I see a number. Number 06 is what this one is. Yeah, Birmingham, Alabama. We're the same time? Oh. Thank you, Miss Angie. Hi, Sandy. Hey, Neda. I wish I could see. New Zealand. That's my New Zealand girl. Yeah. 416 here. I tell you, the internet is something else. It can be a very good thing, right? It can be a bad thing, too, but hey, we got the good part, right? All right, let's do a little blush. Less is more, Marsha. Take it easy. Take it easy. Up. You can always fix it if you get too much. Don't worry. How's that? <laughs> too much? Ugh, I don't care. I love the makeup. I love the makeup. What are we ready for? We are ready for... The eyebrows are ready. I'm going to use the... See, this is all still so new to me. This is the Pharmacy Eyebrow Liner, and this is the, it's, it's in a dark, dark brown. I'm sure it's got a number on it somewhere, but we got a label on it, so I can't read it. So we'll just go with it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my house. If you're new, let me know where you're from. We're just going to brush these brows a little bit. I also got some lash and brow. Um serum and totally forgot to put it on yesterday last night i mean i like to put stuff like that on at when you know when i go to bed 
I'm liking my hair stuff that came in my kit. I can tell you that. Got some of that coming too. Okay, let's do the brows. You know what? Maybe I should do... Let's do... I have some eye primer coming. But let's just do a little bit of this Lancome stuff here for the eye primer. Eye primer, you say, why do you need eye primer? I'm sorry for the dinging. I thought I turned the notifications off, but there we go. And actually, girls and guys, that is my pharmacy group chat, and we are totally chatty in there. Everybody is just on fire. I can't keep up. I do apologize, though, because it's going to ding off the wall. Okay, a little bit of primer. Primer makes your eyeshadow look brighter, more bold. Oh, shoot. Can I do that with you on here? Can I turn it off? Let me look. Let me see if I can turn it off. Hang on. Bear with me. Hi, Jennifer. Hey, Arlie. Hang on. Let's see here. Okay, I muted it. You're from Oklahoma City? My son lives in Tulsa. Okay, here we go. Great. Watch. I am just going to go the natural line of my brow. Just trying to give it a little bit more color and definition. Nothing, you know, wild and crazy. I kind of go wild and crazy on the eyeshadows. I don't go real wild and crazy on the brow action. This goes on very velvety. Very easy. Your spoolie now will spread your product really nice. See? It's not not anything drastic. This is my awkward side, so you'll have a moment of silence here. I have to concentrate on this one. What is everybody up to on this Sunday afternoon? I'm doing laundry. Doing my lives a little bit early because I have to go to bed early tonight because I have to get up at 5. Uh oh, quit talking. My brows are not alike. That's why I, I struggle trying to get them alike. So, when I say I struggle, I don't really struggle anymore. I don't worry about it much anymore. I just do what I can do with it. Yeah. all I'm going to do to my brows. Let me see what you're saying. Hey, Lily, Lily, I love your name. Tarsia. Where are you from, Tarsia? Delaware. Isn't that a pretty part of the country? I've never been that way. Oh, I know, girl. My dogs, I tell you what, my dogs don't like joy. My dogs don't like thunder. And it's been thundering here. I almost didn't start my live, but I needed to. So I hope, I told my husband, I said, give them a bone to chew on while I start my live. It's the only way to keep them sh to be quiet. Hi, Jade. Hello, Lisa. Jennifer, hi. Hi, everybody. Okay. Oh, I wish I could do all this a little faster. I don't want people to get bored. Anyway, that was the eyebrow pen. Okay, what am I ready for now? Eyeshadow, right? Let's do some eyeshadow. Now, I'm going to use this beautiful orange pop. 
cream eyeshadow. I am really always thought of myself as a powder eyeshadow girl. I got like three drawers of powder eyeshadow. I'm going to use, this is the only one I got from pharmacy, so I'm going to use this orange pop cream, and then I'm going to use this Acti Labs cream palette just to do some uh, accent color with it. So here we go. I'm going to use a flat brush. And it's very pigmented, so you're going to see. And I probably would not wear, well, I don't know. I'm getting pretty brave in my old age. <laughs> I was going to say I probably wouldn't wear this much, but I might. I'm just going to color, color up the whole lid with it. And then we'll blend it. Now, this is a whole new other ball game, creams. You know? A whole nother ball game. Look at that. It's very pretty. It's very shiny. I've got a gorgeous pink coming. Joy, are you still here? Do you have any uh, cream eyeshadows yet? How pigmented that is wow color pop orange pop I mean color pop orange pop now I'm gonna put a little bit of this Acti Labs uh, let me wipe my brush off a wee bit Get some of that orange off of there I'm gonna put some of this brown I think just to give it the dimension I need and then we'll blend it. And I haven't used too much cream eyeshadow, so I might be a little awkward with that cream eyeshadow action. But I have some two or three different colors coming. And it, it's amazing too what eyeliner and lashes do to the finished look. You can use your finger. Using some dark brown here. Coming up on my bone and out towards the tail of my brow. other side before I forget what I did. I usually take my brush and right in the crease where I, you know, where you can feel your crease, that indention, I start putting my brush there and I kind of start working my way over, about halfway over with the darker color. And then kind of, see this is the awkward side, go towards the tail. Very different feel, creams. Do y'all like cream eyeshadow? Alright, let's use a little bit of black. We're gonna get brave. We're gonna get brave. Just a little. Just a touch. It's a whole nother, whole nother little technique going on here with cream shadows. Do I get my eyes alike? No. Okay, we'll put that brush down and we'll get another brush. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see. It's got a white silver right here. Let's see what that does. So we need to do a little bit right there in the 
peak in the arch. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do tonight, too? I got this awesome mask in my kit, Dr. C. Tuna, and it is a, a detox mask. I'm going to mask myself tonight. There we go. That looks okay. I have more wrinkles in this eye, and I do, I said this many times, I'm a left side sleeper. I think that's why my eyebrow is up higher on this side, and I have more wrinkles. You know, you really should sleep supine or on your back, actually. Unless you have sleep apnea. If you have sleep apnea, you need to stay off your back. All that kind of stuff is worse on your backs. Let's put a little bit in here. I'll look at your comments. Welcome, everybody. that how come it sounded hang on stop it oh hang on <laughs> oh my gosh that was somebody else I muted it okay go you know what I love glitter too I have gotten really brave with eyeshadow color I used to never wear eyeshadow ever any kind of eyeshadow much less any colored eyeshadow <laughs> crazy all right what am I gonna do now okay I do not have I didn't get an eyeliner pencil, so I'm going to use one of my own. This one is, if I need to sharpen it, this one is a Milani pencil. So we're going to do the under eye with that. Maybe. I can get it going. Huh. I hate it when they won't sharpen. Okay, let me see your comments first. Hey, Sharon. Better late than never. You betcha. I didn't invite anybody. Thanks, Cassie. I always wear hairbands. Hi, Jeannie. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. <gasps> the pink and the blue. You know what? I think I did too, Joy. Gold came in your kit. Bummer. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. Hello, Utah. Hello, everybody. Okay. Let's do a little eyeliner. You know I can't do anything with an eyeliner. Now, I'm going to use my uh, new Tory Bell Magnetic Lashes today. And, excuse me, uh, I have a problem with eyeliner, liquid eyeliners bleeding right in here. So I have to stick with the gel eyeliner or a pencil, you know, some kind of waterproof situation like that. I can't use liquids. You know, I don't know if it's just me or, but my eye tissues, see, are like 72 years old. So they've been around the block a time or two. So we have to, we can't use the liquids. And I've tried all kinds of liquids. Well, my uh, eyeliner for my Tory Bell eyelashes, they're, it's liquid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Tory Bell magnetic liner right here. No glue, but magnetic liner. And then over here, I'll use uh, my gel eyeliner from Pharmacy. What do I do with it? Uh, I had it out so I'd know where it was. Hang on. Y'all, I swear I would lose my head if it wasn't attached. What did I 
to do with it? I can't, okay, I can't do this without my eyeliner. Hold on. For crying out loud. <sighs> this is ridiculous. What the heck did I do with it? It's going to pop up. This makes me so mad. There it is. Jeez. Okay, I'll put it right there so I know where it is. Oh, so sorry. You know, I'm not very professional. I'm just a real person. <laughs> okay, here we go. We are just going to do this first. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to do the eyeliner first because it has to dry. And the thing about doing a live with this magnetic liner is you're supposed to put it on, put one layer on, and then let it dry. Then you put a second layer on and let that dry. So it's kind of not easy to do this kind of live, you know, with that because you got to have time for this stuff to dry. But we're going to try it anyway, okay? So I'm just going to go... I'm just going to do a thin coat first. Okay? Oh, wait. Don't get it too much on there. Okay, this one's an awkward eye shoot. See, I'm going to mess up. That's okay. Certainly smells different than regular liner. Okay, we'll let that dry. This is Tori Bell. If you're interested in trying that, let me know. I've got some... Uh, uh, I'm in that company too. But... I have the lashes that came are just kind of like everyday lashes. I'm into really, if you're going to wear false eyelashes, I think you ought to have some real glam going on, don't you? That's right. So I've got some more glammy lashes coming. They're supposed to be delivered tomorrow. So here we go. I'm just going to put my lower. Milani liner. I do have some cool pencils coming. Yeah. You're going to see me do some crazy things. Why not? Okay. Favorite little tool here. I'll look at your comments in just a second, guys. You know I can't see without my glasses. If you're new, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. On the Sunday afternoon, I like to smudge out my liner. A couple of reasons. I first, I like that look. Secondly, it can help cover up any mistakes. You know. <laughs> yeah, that's the biggest reason. I don't know if I should. Should I do my waterline? <sighs> my nose won't stop dripping, y'all. Shoot. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. So rude. Hi, Erin. How do I trim the, the magnetic lashes? Oh, I don't know if I would trim them. Is that what you're talking about, Sharon? Yeah. You got to look. If you're going to trim, I would trim from the outside, not the inside. And then... Pay attention because there's little tiny magnets all along the lash. So you want to make sure that you're uh, not messing yourself up. So I don't know. They're all so new to me too. Hi Sharon. Hi Nadine. Hello everybody. California. Hi Brittany. Suzanne. How are you girl? She's from across the ocean guys. Suzanne is. Oh, you got your Tory Bell yesterday. Cool. All right. Well, let me tell you, I'm learning. And so you want to do like thin coats to start with. And they say do a coat and then wait about 30 seconds and do your second coat. Yeah. You want it to dry. So I am still learning. All right. Let's do a second coat real quick. 
Ugh. <laughs> Let's see if I can mess this up. I want to do it thinner. Kind of, kind of tap your brush so you don't have too much. I kind of set my eye. I, I set the eyelash on my eye to see where the magnets would fall. So, kind of went over far on this one. Now, I'm going to give that a second, and then I'll finish it up with regular eyeliner here. Do you think I ought to do my waterline, or should I just leave it? Should I go crazy and do like a, like a kind of a blue in the waterline? Kind of blue and orangey? What do you think? I'm letting that dry. I Tiffany! I'm so glad you're here, Erin. Hi, everybody. Hi, Sharon. Lots of Sharon's here today. Why don't we do, let's do some lips while I'm waiting. Okay? I bet I've gone over an hour. So sorry. Uh, okay. Now, I am going to use my, oops, the lip color that came in the kit. Probably not one that I would have ordered because it's, it's not nude, but it's a pinky nude, and it's number 03. I know that's backwards. It's very pretty. Kind of peachy. I hope that's not getting up here. Kind of a peachy pink. It'll go. It'll go. We'll, we'll do it. It's a nice matte. Pretty little, you know, slanted little applicator. Do you know somebody in your family that uh, is older and you think they would like to wear makeup, but they think they're too old? Oh, that gets me on my soapbox. Encourage them. You know, besides being so fun, it's a good self-esteem builder because you're going to feel better. When you look better, you feel better. I don't mind getting old. In fact, I feel like it's a blessing to be my age. But, you know, I don't want to look my age. I don't want to act my age. Okay? Is that all right? I think so. If you think you're old, you are old. I don't think I'm old. I still feel the same. My body doesn't always agree. But, you know, 36 minutes, that's all? Oh, cool. I'm doing good. Should I line my eyes with the blue? Tell me that real fast and then I'll get moving. This is a Milani Metallic Lights. What's the name of it? It's a number 03. Boy, I'm stuck on 03s, aren't I? Here is... Pretty, pretty. I like it. It's matte. You like doing the waterline? Okay. But I'm going to do the waterline with a little color. I don't have any, don't have any of this. Actually, I do have some of this blue in here. I thought it was black, but it's actually blue. I'm pretty sure my eyeliner is dry by now. So let's do this. Just for the heck of it. Also, I always do, um, always do mascara before I do my eyelashes. Yeah, so I'm going to do some mascara, but I better, hang on, I better get the eyeliner on the inside first. Y'all, done, oh, there it is. Let's do that first before I do the mascara. Mm -mm -mm. Poke myself in the eye. Now let's. I don't do wings. Not because I have anything against them. I don't do them because I can't do them very well. 
Yeah, I've never mastered that. So let me smooth what I did out. I like to smooth it on up into that dimension color. Kind of blur it out a little bit. Oops, I got a little much over there. Shoot. Let's blend it up. You can always fix stuff, guys, so don't be afraid. Isn't that a pretty color? <sighs> okay, mascara. I got another mascara coming too. This is called Extreme Curl. Then I've got this 3D here. So we're gonna do the Extreme Curl White because I like the brush that's on it. It's a curled brush. I like that, see? All right, back and forth. I don't, when I'm using lashes, I don't do a whole, whole bunch, uh oh, hang on, I don't do a whole lot, I just do enough to uh, give my lash a little stability, something stronger to sit on, you know. See if I can get it all over my nose. Whew. If you can't finish watching me today, I will download this to my YouTube. So you can watch it there if you have to leave. I totally understand. Hi, huh, Erin. Thank you, Miss Erin. You're so sweet. Hi, Shanletta. Hey, hey. Lauren. Hey. I love all of y'all. Y'all. I'm from Texas. Did y'all know that? Here's the lashes I'm going to use. They're called 9 to 5. See, they're just kind of basics. And these little things, they're, uh, they're called weights. They're just tiny individual lashes. So if you feel like you need a little extra, which I have never... They want to dance around and go places. So I've never used them so I have no idea how to do it but we're gonna do these nine to fives let's see if I can have good luck with them it takes practice just like anything that you start what I like about this though is the hope of not having to mess with glue let's see where's my mirror you know I do believe that I would lose my head if it wasn't connected Let's do, I'm going to try to use my fingers. You know, I'm a big applicator user. So let's see if I can use my fingers with this. She says do the inside first. Oh, it caught. Then you do the outside. Get on there. I may have to use my applicator. Now this is magnetic liner. There is one of my teamies who is sleeping in hers for testing. There's another ding. Joy, your little dog is gonna go crazy. I think I need a might I think I might need to move it over. This inside one's not wanting to hang out. Hang on. I love gadgets. All right. Whoa. Okay. Don't use a magnetic tool because you'll never get it on your eye. Inside first. I'm not putting it on my eyeliner. Uh-oh. I might need to put some more magnetic eyeliner on down here. Must not have gone far enough. And you can always touch up. 
right in here. I think I need to put some more liner in, which I can do, but we won't do it on camera. Let's do the other one. And one girl put some of these on and rode a motorcycle. <laughs> Come on. And they stayed on. <laughs> Pretty good test. Can't get a hold of it. Can't see for one thing. Shoot. When you watch older ladies do makeup, they have brain tooths all the time. Everything falls south. So, you, you know, it's different watching us old ladies. Here we go. When the owner did this, she used her fingers. I just, just can't do my fingers. And you can always touch up with eyeliner. There you go. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But I will have to touch this one up right here. What do y'all think? All right, my main focus of this video was my pharmacy. Also, I got some of this in my kit called K K K Calendula. <laughs> Never heard of it before, but it apparently has many, 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 many healing, healing aspects to it. It's from the uh, Marigold family. You can Google it and find all kinds of stuff. It's also good for sore muscles, for for varicose veins. Now I've got, I took a picture of this vein that I've got on the right side of my leg, right up below my knee. I've had it ever since I was a kid. And I think it's because, uh, and, well, you don't want to hear my story, but uh, a nurse gave me a shot with a dirty needle. It got gangrene when I was three months old. They almost cut my leg off. So anyway, this leg has always taken the bulk of my weight. And so I think that's the reason why I had that. It's like a spider vein. It's like little, it started out about that big when I was a kid, and then it just gradually, you know, it's, the base is about like that, but then it's got all these little spidery legs, and so, you know, I don't pay any attention to it anymore, but then I saw that that takes care of, uh, calendula helps with varicose veins and stuff, so I thought, I'm going to try it, so I'm testing it. Today was my first day to put it on, so, hello everybody. <laughs> is everybody doing okay? I love all of y'all. You're so sweet to come visit me. There's so many professionals out there you could be watching and learning from. Uh, Sharon, stay in, stay in on power. I think that's something that's going to have to be practiced. Um, if anything happens, like like I wore them to work two or three days, the only thing, they'd get a little loose right in here, you know, right on the inside. But, you know, another thing is my eyes water all the time. And even though this is all supposed to be waterproof and all that good stuff, my eyes still water. And I think it loosens up, you know, everything. So I have to always be careful. Like right now, my eyes are weeping right here. You can, I don't know if you can see it or not. But, yeah, they, they tend to get a little loose right on the inside. But you know what? The, the deal was... All I did was look in a mirror and just put my finger, you know, just tip my finger like that, and it just went right back on. Now, this right over here, I did not put enough of the magnetized, magnetized, magnetized liners right here. I missed a spot, so it's not going to connect right here till I fix it. But anywho, it's me on a Sunday afternoon. You think I look okay to go do laundry now? Yeah laundry. <laughs> I hate laundry. Uh, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Chandler, Arizona. Hello, Arizona. Yes. I'm hoping that it stays, that I can get, you know, get all the bugs worked out of it and the application part. And so then, because let me tell you, I hate glue. I get glue everywhere. And this is a good alternative. And this company, Tori Bell Company, is, um, she has a patent pending on this. So all these other magnet, magnetic lash liner companies you see, they're going to have to bite the bullet because they're going to have to go away. Because she's going to have the 
patent on it. Yeah, so they're going to have to come up with another plan. Yeah, so that's another reason I joined the company. If, you are, if you're interested in it, you know, give me a, a message and I can send you my link and you can go take a peek. Yeah. I'm looking forward to my glam lashes, though. Oh, I forgot to do my setting spray. Let's do a little slay all day coconut setting spray. You know, I have to do that because I could inhale this stuff so easy because it smells so good. It's coconut. Okay, guys. Anybody got any questions for me? What you got? What you got for me? Hi, Brandy. Ursula. Hi, Ursula. Welcome to my house, girl. Where are you from? Everybody say hi to Ursula. <sighs> Oh, Chandler, Arizona. Yeah, I see. Did I miss any comments or anything? I hope not. Kathy, where did I buy the lashes? Where did I buy the uh, magnetic liner and stuff? Is that what you're talking about? Because I can give you my link for that, girl. Yeah, I got a link for that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and then for the makeup... I do the makeup too, pharmacy. I've got a link for that. I'll put it all in here, you guys. Now, let me tell you about my pharmacy link right quick, and I'll also put it in writing. But my pharmacy link, uh, Facebook has got a glitch going on with it right now. They're working on it. Hopefully, they'll have it finished before the weekend is up, but they're working on it. But you, you really need to copy-paste my link into a Google search, and then it'll take you right there. Uh, I don't know what's going on. It's an Android issue for some reason. But uh, your best bet is to put my link in the Google search and then just, you know, search for it. And you'll, it'll take you right to my shop. The prices for pharmacy is unbelievable. If you join the team, my gosh, listen to this. If you join the team, 50% off. Yeah, <clears throat> and it's 50% off. Like when you go in and make an order for yourself, you go in and make that order, it's already got the 50% off. Yeah, it's already there. They figure it for, excuse me, they figure it for you. I got excited. They figure it for you. 50% off. Yeah, if you don't even want to buy a build a team or anything, you know, then shoot. The products, they own, of course, you know, you hear this stuff all the time, but they own all the property. They own all the, they manufacture all the containers. They manufacture uh, they manufacture and come up with everything themselves. That's why the prices are so reasonable. Uh, they even own the water that comes through their land. Yeah. And it's all in a natural, what is it, uh, healthy, healthy area. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, it's all good stuff. Bunny safe. Uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Where did I buy them? Are you think? Are you? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I already did that one. My mom had hers fixed. Her legs look, ooh, she's super tan. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Hello, everybody. Sure, Lauren. Let me write it down, and I'll forget, girl. I'll forget. You know, I'll forget. <laughs> You want the link for the lashes or the link for pharmacy? It only costs $19.99 to join. You get a free uh, free website. What else? You get a welcome kit with literature and stuff in it. They have two kits that are awesome. $49 kit and $125 kit, which I got the $125 kit because I wanted all the goodies. But $125 kit covers, it includes that $49 kit. But those two kits are totally optional. You do not have to order a kit. But I want the stuff in my hands, you know. Okay, which link did you want? You want my eyelash link or you want my, uh, hi Candy. Oh, I'm glad you caught me too, girl. Hi, Erin. Aw, I love you. Aw. Hi, Andri Adrina. Hi, pretty. Both. Okay, I'll do that. As soon as we get finished here, I'll do that, okay? I will. I'll also put the links in here. I'm fixing to sneeze. But I'll send it to you personally, just in case. Okay. Whew. Hang on. Whew. 
Come on now. <laughs> I hate those. Ugh, what a way to end your video, man. I want to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. All right, guys. Kisses, hugs, prayers. I love you all. So I will. <laughs> I will send you those links, Lauren. I promise. Okay. Marsha Holland, Glam Memo, saying goodbye. I love you very much. Bye-bye. Share, share, share.